I want to start off with the simplest way you can improve your productivity. It's using something called the Pomodoro Technique. So I'm going to show you what this is. So the Pomodoro Technique is basically working in intervals of 25 minutes where you're completely focused on a single task. And then you follow that by a five minute break. Then you continue with another Pomodoro session of 25 minutes followed by a five minute break. When you've done four of those sessions, you then can take a longer break, 15 or 20 minutes. And basically this technique works incredibly well for focusing your attention in the moment on what you're doing. And if you do this, studies show that you're gonna improve your um, overall productivity by about 30 to 40% because multitasking constantly divides our focus and then you have to kind of recover your focus on the task you're doing when you've checked emails or your phone. And by doing this, if you just single task, focus on a single task you're doing for the period of your Pomodoro, then you're gonna get way better results. Um, so I wanna show you, you can mess around with this app as well. So by default it's 25 minutes followed by five minutes. I find this works really well for me, but you can play around here with a counter. So if you wanna do 45 minutes followed by um, you know, 15 minute break or a five minute break, you can play around with this. And this app's great. It has probably the best interface of all the Pomodoro Technique apps out there. Um, it tracks how many Pomodoros you do in a day. Um, it gives you a lot of charts as well for how many um, you've accomplished and whatnot. Um, so the app is, is free and uh, it has a ticking sound. And if you wanna get rid of that ticking sound, then you gotta pay uh, $1.99. Another free option I think is also excellent is called Team Viz. So Team Viz, as you can see, it has kind of an older interface. Uh, it looks a little iOS 6-ish. Um, so it's not being updated anymore, but it's a free app. And I like it because you have your to-do list and you can track your to-do list items uh, based on, how, on Pomodoros. So I find this really useful, um, whereas the other app kind of just tracks your Pomodoros. This actually tells you this is how many Pomodoros it took you to accomplish this task um, that you're working on today. Um, and I think it's, it's a little more useful. Uh, I think it's actually the, the most fully featured Pomodoro app in the App Store. Um, so it's a shame that it's not being updated anymore. But uh, these two apps are a good way to start. Um, just by single tasking, I can guarantee you're gonna see amazing results if you stick to it.